So I'm thrilled to announce that David Beckham has exercised his option to purchase an MLS expansion team and so excited that he selected Miami as the market for his new club. Before we open this up to questions from the press, I have a few questions of my own. First of all, to David. This is a major day for Miami and for Major League Soccer. Why did you choose Miami? Um, I mean, why not? Um, I think, obviously, jo all joking aside, um, for me, um, I wanted to create a team that we can start from scratch. I know there was a team here 10 years ago, um, and unfortunately they folded, but I think going forward, I wanted to create a team that can be very personal. Everything that I've done throughout my career has been very personal to me. Um, the decisions that I've made uh, are all very personal. And like this one, it's a big decision, but it's a very personal one. I want to make it my own team. You know, I, ha I, have, I have great partners. I have a partner with Simon Fuller that has been a very good friend. He actually introduced me to my wife, so I have many things to thank him for. I have another partner in Marcelo, who, when I first came to Miami, when I first came to Miami, him and his wife, Jordan, and his beautiful family welcomed us with open arms, and uh, I'm very proud to have him as a partner, as well as, obviously, Simon. But we, uh, we're very excited about this, this project, and, um, you know, Miami, as Don has said and the mayor has said, is a vibrant city. It's a city with a lot of passion. And I know this city is ready for football, soccer, um, this time around. I know that this is going to be successful. I always, have always said throughout my career, whether there's challenges or not, to be successful, you have to work hard. I've worked hard through my whole career, and I'm going to work hard for this city, and I'm going to work hard for this league to make this team um, to make this team very successful. So it's, I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time here. I'm looking forward for my family to be here, my children, my wife. Um, but it's an exciting time. Beckham, much has been made by public officials that no public money will be used to build a stadium or its surrounding infrastructure. To what extent do you and your group, to what extent do you and your group intend to seek? public money um that's <laughs> hello 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 no um that's very true and it's a great question because it's a question that obviously the people of miami uh, and of this great city want to know we don't we don't want public funding we will fund the stadium ourselves it's something <laughs> It's something that we um, have worked very hard to get to this stage where we can fund the stadium ourselves. We, wanna, we want to, obviously we've had some great work from the mayor and Don and obviously the commissioners and the support that we've had so far has really been incredible. So we want to create a stadium, we want to create a soccer team, a football club that is the people's football club, it's simple as that. You know, I've worked for some of the biggest clubs in the world with some of the greatest players in the world. Um, and this is a dream, you know, if someone would have turned around to me at 11 years old and said, you know, you're going to play for Manchester United, you're going to represent England, you're going to play for Real Madrid, AC Milan, the Galaxy, and then become an owner, um, I probably wouldn't have believed them. But I've lived the dream. And for any children growing up, when they turn around to me and they say, you know, uh, what can I be and how can I get to the level that these other players and professional players like Ronaldo, like Messi, like the, the players that are out there can get to. You know, this is what football can do for you. This is what soccer can do for you. It can give you a great career, it can give you a great life. It can give you the, the, the most exciting passion that any sport can give you. Um, and that's what we're bringing to Miami. Okay, thank you. Carl McCarthy, Fox Sports. 
Uh, Don and David, what do you have to do over the next few years to ensure this club is a success, both in the short term and in the long term? Um, what can we do? There's a lot of things to do. Um, but like I said, you know, uh, nothing successful is easy in life. You know, there are going to be bumps along the way. There's going to be difficult times, but there'll be more fun times and exciting times and difficult times. I've learned over the years that you have to go through certain um, tough times to actually come out at the end and be successful. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of interesting people and we've had a lot of great people that want to invest in this team and this club and believe in this project that we're doing. I think that's where we start. I think when you have the right investors, when you have investors that have passion, I'm not just talking about the wealth wise, I'm talking about passion for the game. You know, we want investors, we want in partners that are passionate for the game, not just about, you know, about being you know, successful and, and earning money out of this. This is not what we're doing. We, we're, we're making a soccer club, a football club that's going to be loved by many millions of people. I'm not just talking about just the city of Miami. We, we plan on bringing a team that's going to be a global. I'm David Carolina Guzman from Univision, Southwest Florida. Can you give me three names of soccer players that you would like to have in your team? I play soccer. Can I be in your team? Um, uh, yes, you could be in the team, of course. Um, <laughs> Do you have a uh, three names. I think, I think as an owner, it would be disrespectful, and an ex-player, it would be disrespectful of me to say what players that I want in the team. I think it's pretty obvious the players that people would love in the team. Uh, but we have a list. We have a list of players, but like I said, I've been very lucky to have had and played with some of the best players. And fortunately, these players are actually sending me messages, calling me up, saying, OK, Miami, great. When's it happening and uh, how can we get there? Um, so that's obviously the good thing. Um, we will decide that, obviously, in, in the near future. But um, we want the best. And you're more than welcome to come, of course. Thank you so much. With, your, with this new project, with your wife's fashion career exploding, with your kid at fa Manchester United, uh, uh, and when you put everything on the table and you see it from the outside, what do you see? Um, a busy life. Um, but to be honest, I'm used to that. You know, we have, my wife has a very successful fashion line. She has a very successful career, obviously with the Spice Girls. Um, myself. <laughs> Um, obviously myself, I've had a very busy and successful career. Our number one priority, you know, I'm passionate about many things. I'm passionate about my career, I'm passionate about being an owner, I was passionate about playing soccer over the years. My number one priority is my children. Simple as that. It, it always will be, uh, always has been and always will be, but... Um, we have, a many, we have many great things going on at the moment. I'm very committed, as always, to everything that I'm part of. And right now, this is my number one commitment, other than, obviously, my children and my family. But this is something that I'm very committed to. So um, I'm, I'm excited about this one.